Yeah. Hello guys, I don't know what to make the lost trees in only do like this. Is it that bad? So they invited my sister for a program. Yeah, oh, lost trees, you know. This is my sister. She's she's deaf and dumb. And so they can't go snap my sister. Oh. Put them, say 30 years deaf and dumb healed. Nothing, nothing of such. This is your husband here. Yeah. <laughs> My sister's the day also. You know, they hear, you know, they talk. They can't go put a picture for you, say, 30 years of death and dumb. He would call even get my put a name. Hey, this is serious. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Hey, lost to the why now? This very video is of great lesson. Like, in the comment section, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, people are allowed to marry where they find love and um, uh, love is the only culture, blah, blah, blah. There are so many people saying things like the parents should allow these people to marry. And when I looked at the people making that made those statements or those comments, they were all Africans. And I'm like, yes, we should know that everybody have the right to fall in love. Love is something that you cannot have control of. So people should be allowed to have to fall in love with whomever they want to fall in love with. But the truth is, those people commenting this were African. Some of them are Nigerians. The funny thing is this. We want other tribe, other culture, like very, far different culture, whites. To allow our black brother to marry their white sister, to, to marry their to marry the white people. Meanwhile, in our land, in our culture, in Africa, it's almost forbidden for an African person to marry a fellow African. It's almost forbidden. It's very, very rare. It's very difficult. You will see, you know, people comfortably getting married to you see a Nigerian comfortably getting married to a Ghanaian. Like, you see a Nigerian comfortably getting married to a Sierra Leonean. You see a Nigerian comfortably, maybe an Igbo man or Igbo woman, comfortably marrying a, 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 an, a, an Hausa. Or you, or, or you even see in Igbo land an Anambara man comfortably marrying an Enugu or an Imo or an Abia. Does this not happen? It's like, it's something that happens in our own culture. So... Why do we? I was watching the video. I didn't. I didn't have to come, leave any comments. I didn't have to like uh, tell the parents. Oh, you know. Let's remove what is in our own eye before we remove what is in other people's eye. It, if it's their choice, if that, that's how people, that's how we want to live in this, on this planet. Let let so be it. In our own culture, as Nigerians, as Igbos, do you know what even the first thing they say? Nobody even say Nigerians. Maybe. I also go say no go marry Igbo or Yoruba go say no go marry Igbo. That one self is even apart. The one way they even was be say in Igbo land, in the same tribe, they still discriminate between themselves. Anambara go say no be Imo or no be Abia or no be this in the same culture, the same Igbo. Hey, <laughs> anyways, guys, what do y'all think? This is my own opinion. Let it go.